continuing with my uh, videos on table graph equation or table equation graph let us look at this set of numbers so you got x which is from 0 to 6 and y you have got 0 3 8 15 and so on we want to find from the table let us graph it first and then we can write the equation okay or you can go whichever way you want from table you can write the equation okay now in this video what i'm going to do is i'm going to do in a different way i'm going to first graph it and then use the calculator to get the answer and then i'll show you how to get it algebraically now those of you who are taking nc exams this type of question uh, would be at least a merit question okay so they're expecting uh, you to show the working okay so first let us graph this so you've got this is the x-axis and this is the y-axis so i on my x-axis i've gone from 0 to 5 because i have to plot from 0 to 4 and y i've gone from 0 to 24. so you can draw the graph according or your, you can set your scale according to your need okay so let us first plot these points first the first point is 0, 0, so this is your origin, so 0, 0 is this point, okay. The next point is 1, 3, that is 1, 3, so this is this point, 1, 3. The next is 2, 8 or 2, 8, so this is this point, and you've got 4, 24, okay, so this is 4, 24. Now, obviously you can see this will not be a straight line, then also to show you, uh, I've got this ruler, electronic ruler, which uh, I can make it bigger. Okay, so let me make it bigger slightly and let us try to sit and see. Uh, if you put it like this, you can see it is not a straight line. You can't get, suppose if you make it bigger, it's slightly bigger. You ca cannot join, you can join two points, of course. But you cannot join all the two, all the points so this indirectly tells me that this is a not a straight line if you graph it it will not be a straight line but if you use a smooth curl it has the shape of a parabola so this will be going but if you join it by if you join by a smooth curl or smooth line it seems to be a parabola so this is and a graph of it this is of course you have it goes to the other end also so this is only one branch of the parabola so this is a parabola so the equation has to be uh, a quadratic equation parabola has a quadratic equation you should be knowing that so how to find the equation so first as i told you i'll use the calculator that's a bit cunning uh, but there's nothing wrong in getting the answer and then getting to the so let me use a different color here. So this is 0, 0. This is 1, 3. And OK, so these are the points. So I'm going to use a calculator. OK, so now this on the calculator, what you have to do is you have to go on your stats menu. OK, so in your list 1, you type in your x values. So I'm going to type in 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now, okay, so whatever values you have, you have to have to write the a quadratic equation, you have to have at least three values. So you got one, two, three, four, five. So we got more than enough. So in list two, you type in your y values. Okay, so I'll type in zero. Then it's one, y is three. So you can understand list one is your x and list two is your y. So when x is two, y is eight. When x is 3, y is 15. And when x is 4, y is 24. This is a bit cheeky way of doing it. Okay, so I want, I'll go over this very slowly so that you can write the steps. So first, enter your x value in list 1 and your y value in list 2. That's the first thing. Next, we want to tell the calculator, please uh, tell me the equation of these uh, of these points. if. Okay, so we know, we should first know the type of the graph. Okay, we know that's why it's important to graph it. So once you decide uh, that it's a parabola, you go to calculate. So press F2. 
okay and then always go and see your setting what type of graph no sorry it's not calculate I have to go to graph so type in F1 and then we have to tell the calculator to graph it so but the calculator is asking us what type of graph do you want to graph so always go and check your settings so go to F6 and this should be a setting we want to draw a scatter graph hopefully you know what's a scatter graph so you're telling the calculator draw me the scatter graph and then the calculator is asking you where is your x list that is this is your x value your x list is in list one this should be in list one this is in list two this should be a setting frequency should be one and this is your type of mark okay you can have this or this i'll do use this the cross for scatter graph so once you do this once this has been set you can you have to exit okay press the exit key and then we'll tell the calculator press graph this for me so the calculator can you see it has plotted these points this is zero zero this is one three this is two eight and so on now we'll tell the calculator calculate the uh, tell me the equation of this uh, this graph when you join these points so you press F1 and now you have to tell the type of the graph okay so we know that if you join it by a smooth curve it'll be a, it looks like a parabola so type in F2 F2 is a quadratic formula which is a quadratic which is a uh, which has a parabola so press F2 F4 sorry and then it has given you the equation okay so the, this is the quadratic equation x squared plus bx plus c so the calculator is telling me your a is 1 your b is 2 don't worry about this r squared you'll understand this later when you come to year 13 and your c is 0 so when i read this this is a quadratic regression so you'll not understand that again so basically this calculator is telling me the equation of this parabola is 1x squared or x squared plus 2x okay and then you can also draw it so if you tell the calculator to draw it it has drawn so you can you see it's a smooth curve it's a parabola so let us see the equation again so it is 1x squared plus 2x so this is a cheeky way of writing so we'll write the equation of this parabola is y is equal to x squared plus 2x now let's see whether it makes sense okay so how does it how does it make sense when it's telling me y and x are related by this equation so if you put one here or so if you put zero here in place of x zero squared is zero plus two times zero is zero so zero zero does work when x is zero y is zero when you put one one squared is one plus two times one is two so you have to do the exponent and then multiply so one plus two is three so one when when x is one y is three if you put two there two squared is four and four plus four is eight okay hopefully you can see that when you put three three squared is nine nine plus six is fifteen so the calculator is perfect but if you do like this on the calculator you can't get merit or excellence from this question you need to show how can you get it algebraically so now we're going to do the real part to from this equation or so this table we want to write this okay so the first thing that you need to do is you find the difference of y what's the change in y so here this y is changing by 3 okay so it's from 0 to 3 there's a change of 3. Here there's a change of 5. Here you got a change of 7. Hopefully you can see the pattern. Here you got a change of 9. So if this changes by 3, then you got a 5, change of 5, then you got a 7, then you got a 9. The next, this has to change by, use your logic, 3, 5, 7, 9. It has to go by 11. Okay? So 24 plus 11 is 35 and next change would be by 13. So 35 plus 13 which is 48. We'll come from this later. So 
Now, how to write the equation? So, for to write the equation, the you have to find the second difference. So, the second difference is this is called the first difference, and this is the second difference. So, here the difference is two. Here the difference is two, and this is how you can decide whether a relationship is linear or quadratic. Now, so as the second difference is constant, okay, the second difference in a quadratic pattern would always be constant. And this number is very important. So, the equation of a uh, equation of any quad uh, the quadratic equation of any relationship is a x squared plus b x plus c that you saw on the graphic calculator. This is the general form of a quadratic equation. So basically, what we're trying to do is we're trying to figure out what is a, what is b, and what is c. That's what we are looking for. So here. From the second difference, if the second difference is 2, okay, A is always the second difference divided by 2. So let me write A, which is the, co which is the coefficient of x squared, is always the second difference divided by 2. It is always the second difference divided by 2. So I can say the second difference is 2 divided by 2 is 1. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to write here, say, x squared. Okay, so this is 1x squared. If you want, this is 1x squared. So, let me write 1x squared. So, 0 squared, so this is basically x squared. So, 0 squared is 0. Okay, then 1 squared is 1. 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. Okay, so... Uh, 5 squared is, let us finish this, 25 and 6 squared is 36. So the next step that you do is, you find the difference between this and this. It's a y minus x squared. Okay, so 0 minus 0 is 0. 3 minus 1 is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4. 15 minus 9 is 6. 24 minus... Uh, Oh, this should be 16, yeah, okay, this should be 16, if I use a smaller, this should be 16, I don't know why I wrote 14 there, so uh, 24 minus 16 is 8, this is 10, and this is 12. Now, can you see a pattern here? This is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And this is nothing but, this is nothing but what? That is 2 times x, okay? That is y minus x squared. This number or this table is nothing but 2x. This table is for x squared, and this table is for 2x. So if you add this two, so if you do x squared, let me use a different color. This is, you have to concentrate quite well. So if you do x squared plus 2x, let us do x squared. This is a table of x squared and this is a table of 2x. So, we have to keep matching up the number. So, I hope you understand this is 2x. So, 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 2 is 6 and so on. So, if you add them, 0 plus 0 is 0, okay? 1 plus 2 is 3. 4 plus 4 is 8. 9 plus 6 is 15. 16 plus 8 is 24. 35, 48. And this is nothing but, if you look at the, this y, this table, and this are the same. Okay? So we can say y, this we have written as x squared plus 2x, this and this are the same. So if you can match the numbers, I can say y is equal to x squared plus 2x. And that's how we get the answer. See you in the next